We're back with the clearest and most shocking UFO footage online. This incredible compilation was provided by the incredible Jenanet, who is linked below. Definitely check out his channel as he has some great compilations. We're starting with this video that was filmed in 1995. The reason I started with that is because I love older videos as they are harder to fake. It was harder to fake or CGI your UFO videos back in 1995. <laughs> uh, moving on, we have this insane sighting. Um, this happened, the one on the left is in Moscow, Russia. I'm not quite sure where the one on the right is. But both seem to be dropping off slag, which is something that we've seen before. In Japan in 2022, we see this UFO here. And I find it to be very strange because it does match the UFO that's on the right that Janet added. And we've covered that UFO on the channel. So I've seen something similar. And I'm glad Janet put them together. He's brilliant. Um, this was released by the U.S. Army. We see a UFO clearly flying over the plane which is funny because the Pentagon just denied UFOs existing, even though we have clear proof. <laughs> this, uh, I do, not that I find that one um, to not have credence. It's just the glare on the camera. There could have been much more going on there. This is another uh, old video. We've seen a lot of videos emerging from the 90s. Uh, this one is, again, an old one where we see this strange craft lighting up the sky. I will say it does have blinking lights. It's very possible this is one of our older reverse engineered craft. And we happen to capture it, you know, with the camera quality that we had back then, making it look a little bit more mysterious and more ominous. Uh, not that it doesn't count as UFO because, it, again, it could be one of our reverse engineered UFO which the Pentagon is also denying exists. Uh, this happened in France of 2015. Jenna had added the word abduction, question mark. I'm not, I'm not quite sure that it's an abduction. We covered this one the other day. I'm not quite sure that that was an abduction. Um, it could have been maybe picking up resources in the same way that we've seen it drop slag. Um, but, but who knows? There, here's another UFO in Russia, 2021. The shape of it, that uh, almost diamond but slightly flatter shape, reminds me of the UFO that we saw in Serbia where the little kid is like, holy shit, and he's like yelling at his dad. <laughs> another great UFO. This, uh, the ones that we get from space, I'm sorry, I don't know how the Pentagon's even denying it at this point. With the SpaceX launch and some NASA slip-ups, we've literally seen UFOs in space. This particular one Jen and Ed found, I have not seen before. It's very interesting. It is a really good close-up, clear shot. I hope that one is real. I couldn't get too much information on it while I was cross-referencing this one. I love this shot he added at the treb because you actually see the inter, the center uh, console working. I thought that was really cool. You rarely get to see that. Here's another UFO in Mexico in 2010. We're going to see uh, some of these, again, dropping slag. Uh, you can't exactly see it too well in this one. I've had the, um, I've seen this video with the contrast in hands, and there definitely was something happening along the bottom. I, I couldn't do it on this one because this program doesn't do it the same as the old one I had on my old computer. This one from, uh, I believe it was Saudi Arabia. This is a really, really cool one. To be fair, again, going to be a little skeptical. Could this be the top of a super futuristic looking cool building um, at nighttime? Kind of how we've seen the light post do before. It's very, very possible. Um, but it looks pretty convincing to me. I love this UFO and UFOs like this. Here we have two strange objects that look like they're flipping in an insane speed. Like it looks like they're flipping and, and, and moving around. And I love that they were at a football game and caught that UFO because personally, I think those candidates, when you're not expecting it, this is crazy. Those candidates, when you're not expecting it and you just look up and see something, I find those to be the most authentic. Or I feel they're the most authentic because why would you fake that at a football game? Here we have some more insane UFOs in space. Um, these are people monitoring the night sky and seeing these objects flying, hovering, standing still. Right. These are 
proven like did that that is a fact even if one of these videos are fake these things have been proven we have caught them i've personally seen ufos and i've seen this is wild it getting on the road um that could also be some kind of drone back then though too but yeah we've seen these ufos we've seen the evidence how the hell is the pentagon now gonna lie although i will say that they chose some very specific wording uh, in their report and we're gonna make a video about that because i have i have an interesting theory and it, and it could have some really scary implications i love this shot um i will say that this object or whatever it is is pretty far from the person shooting um, and the moon and its brightness are gonna obscure a little bit of the shot just being honest so I wish we got more detail on that one. Again, I'm not saying it's illegitimate. I just wish we had more detail. This is a very strange UFO. I, got, I don't know. Jenna is incredible. I don't know where he's getting this. Y'all, check out his channel. It's linked below. Um, but that one was really weird because I couldn't tell if something was happening on the camera or on the ship itself. This is a wild one. I actually remember this circulating on the media when I was younger. I called it the hamburger UFO. <laughs> and we, of course, caught the cylindrical UFO in Ukraine. We've covered that. Um, both Ukraine and Russia say that they don't know what it was because some people were like, well, maybe it was Russia because they're at war. Russia's like, bro, that wasn't, what would that even be? That wasn't us. So that's definitely a UFO, another kind of proven UFO because Ukraine and Russian military aren't going to lie about it. This is stunning this video i've never seen before and again props to jen and Ed. this is a uh, that that is definitely a ufo and it was beautiful several ufos uh, near nuclear power plant um which has been happening often genuinely i feel that the only reason that the government uh including congress has been taking ufos so seriously lately is be because of the shooting down of nuclear weapons shutting down of nuclear facilities um there's a lot going on with our weaponry and ufos more so than they speak on uh, we've actually seen it in a few videos so hopefully even though again they said there were no extraterrestrial life they chose their words very wisely and i hope we get more information soon look at this bad boy brazil always got some really good ones this is 2022 um, it's comparing the one in Belgium in 2017, but the 20, both of them remind me of the one that we saw in Argentina, again, dropping slag and falling from the sky. Yo, I'm not going to lie. This looks like a flying windmill. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this one. Again, just because I'm a little bit skeptical and the way that it's, it almost seemed frozen in the sky as the camera was shaking it. And I don't know, it made me feel a little iffy. Let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, yes, UFOs at nuclear explosions. Again, here we have them tinkering with our weapons, looking around at our weapons. 1995 Brazil. Oh my gosh, there's this, this theory about the evolution of technology. And then, of course, as we evolve, they're not going to stop evolving and, and creating stuff. So their technology has evolved as well, which is why we're seeing different types of ufos now than we were seeing back then and that the older style ufos are still operational however they're used less often um, and for less important uh, information gathering um, where newer ufos are used because they are built for now which makes total sense i don't i don't see how uh, people fight, argue that that oh that can't be the case i'm like why would we be the only ones furthering our technology this looks really cool it looks like those two other cylinders are rotating around the main cylinder but not actually touching it that blows my mind the cuba one in 2019 and even the spain one in 2013 i'm not sure how i feel about it because there are kites i don't know why they make these with strange lights like that and from afar they do look like ufos um which is why i'm not sure why they make them like you're only going to confuse people come on now this bad boy circling around the sky, though, <laughs> um, hard to dismiss as something else. And it's even it's even emitting a light on the floor. Again, skeptical side, though, this is recent. That could be a drone with a glow effect on it added post. Very, very possible. Oh, look at this bad boy. Did he just did homeboy just go into the mountain? Um... 
excuse me, bitch, that's solid. See, and when they go into, um, oh, look at this. We've seen one of these from, from the shore or from a boat recently, but this one's from 1994. But to that UFO that went into the mountain, it going into the mountain, it going into the water without causing a splash, these things are what make me truly believe that these UFO UAP may just be interdimensional. It is very possible that these are interdimensional crafts. I mean, potentially interdimensional beings that have a different composition uh, than what we're made out of. Um, and it's why they can phase through, say, water or phase through the mountain, something that we view as solid, right? Where like that, as a three dimensional, that's a solid thing. Uh, God, how many have we caught with this weird rotation happening? Um but to something in the fourth dimension or fifth dimensional plane, there may be an opening that we're just not privy to. Um, oh God, I don't know. There's just, I have so many more questions now. I hope you guys are enjoying this awesome compilation. Again, make sure you check out Genonet. But looking at these, I get excited. But now I have so many more questions and so many more concerns because it seems like the Pentagon is doing a full turnaround on all of the information that's been coming out like we've literally been researching and, and seeing more and more ufos coming out recently people talking about it congress talking about it congress taking it seriously whistleblowers come out and now the pentagon's like oh there's nothing like look at this especially like the 2007 the 1995 the 1980s ufos like who's faking that and some of them i was i mean you know i was born in the 80s I was alive to see some of this stuff in the 90s when we didn't have Photoshop, when our special effects in movies sucked and these videos looked very, very real. So how do they explain that? Um, also, this looks super cool too. Sorry, I, at this point, you know I love the UFOs, but I'm going on a rant because this Pentagon um, report really pissed me off. Um, look at these bad boys circling in the sky. And ever since that SpaceX launch, you can't... You can't deny those are UFOs in the SpaceX launch. Again, this is why I'm making a broader video about the UAP report, um, their literal terminology, the terminology that David Grush is using, and the ter terminology that Congress is using. I think it's very important to look at the terminology because <clears throat> I'll put it to you this way before even making the video. The Pentagon saying there are no extraterrestrial there isn't, we haven't found proof of extraterrestrial life, and we haven't reverse engineered extraterrestrial ships after Grush and Congress already said, let's not look at extraterrestrial, let's look at interdimensional. It's like, mm, if they are interdimensional, and even the crafts are interdimensional, is the Pentagon lying when they say, well, there's not extraterrestrial? Mm, but you're not saying that there's not interdimensional, right? They're choosing their words very very wisely um even even grush saying non-human intelligence i feel like a lot goes into that and no one's really talking about it so i'm really excited to make that video but i i wanted to showcase these videos because jen and ed put in some great work making this compilation he does great a great a great job and i feel like he doesn't get enough credit so i wanted to give him another shout out uh check out his cool videos and leave him linked below look at this Another tic-tac cylinder shape. And again, these lights, I want to talk about these before. They, they passed in a previous video as well. I don't consider these lights UFOs. I don't know why people do. I don't know why people freak out about them. I've seen these. I've made these. Uh, I've, you know, I've helped out was a creative director at a launching IMAX theater a few years ago. And these, this is something you can do for an event with spotlights from the floor. So those types of UFOs, I'm, I'm, I'm usually very, very, very skeptical of them. Okay, the way that stopped and then turned around, that's crazy. Uh, but I'm very skeptical of those weird spotlight UFOs because I can replicate them. So if I can replicate that, I, I don't consider that to be advanced technology. This is incredible, 2016. Again, we have to we have to think about where our technology is. The way that the patterns are and the colors were, that could have been a drone show. I tried to look if, this is why I like the 90s and the early 2000s footage before we had drones. Again, I love this shot. 
And I think it is definitely unidentified, maybe anomalous to us. But this looks, the one on the left looks like it could be a uh, reverse engineered human version of the one on the right. See how the one on the right had no blinking lights, but the one on the left did? I feel like we are definitely the blinking lights society. It's how we navigate. Um, and the aliens probably have lights and stuff, but they don't have blinking lights that match our stuff. That's the why they wouldn't need that. This bad boy here, again, 2022, we have a lot going on on the floor and we have this light going on. I can't guarantee that's not a drone. The one in 2013, I feel like I am less likely to catch a drone show in 2013 that looks like that and looks that good. So I would consider this 2013 one to be credible, possibly a UFO. If I saw this same thing now, I would say maybe it's a drone show. Like the one on the right, again, weird, could be anomalous could also be a drone show. However, we've also seen UFOs that draw out constellations. Maybe this is where they're from. Maybe this is how their orbit looks. What do you think?